Welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. Gas prices are expected to hit $5 a gallon by Memorial Day. And according to the liberal media, these high gas prices, of course, have nothing to do with President Obama. <laughs> Governor Jerry Brown will place a tax hike on the upcoming California ballot. And Brown is confident, because even if voters reject the tax hike, Brown will push to have the election results overturned by a liberal judge. <laughs> Much was made of last week's observance of Women's Equal Pay Day on Huffington Post. After all, Huffington Post does pay their female writers the same as they pay their male writers. Nothing. <laughs> In a recent poll, Nancy Reagan was chosen as the best first lady in American history. Coming in a close second, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> a United Nations plan would give bugs and trees the same rights as humans. And Democratic Party officials now plan to register these bugs and trees to vote. <laughs> Critics of this new UN plan are being told not to worry, because after all, America did have a tree serve as vice president. <laughs> Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne owe the IRS in excess of $1.7 million. Oh, so that's what happens when Ozzy does his own taxes. <laughs> And finally, Shirley MacLaine stunned Oprah's audience when she admitted to having sex with three men in one day. She wouldn't reveal their names, but we're pretty sure who these three lucky fellas were. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to tell your friends about it. We'll catch you next time.